My name is Ryan. Ryan who? And that's an excellent question. Ryan who with you too. And here is Marvin still sitting on his mailbox at the top of this episode for Shadows Over Loathing. Marvin's still sitting on his box. Right, of course, you're asking us to get you some Snackle Cakes. Let's check if we can see any of them around here. Maybe behind this random stranger's door. Uh, who's there? Um... Uh, James. Uh, James who? Uh... Who? I'm sorry, I don't know a James who. You'll have to leave. Goodbye. Let me just turn my own voice down slightly in my ears. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Who do you know then? Do you know James Secretary? No. Do you know Ryan who? Do you know me? No? Wow. Well, it's been getting around town. I've been doing some crime solving. That's right and so I'm just saying. Well, okay, less crimes and more locating and committing crimes. So less, you know, uh, less crime busting and more crime... Uh, okay, <laughs> random stranger's door. We're gonna go up to who's there? Uh, uh, who's there, I say? Uh, who's there? Um, Leona. Uh, Leona who? Leona Lita. I'm sorry, I don't know a Leona Lita. All right, what about this random stranger? Um, obviously Junibeth Organization. You don't know Junibeth Organization? Good Lord, these people don't know the Avengers. The Great Lakes Avengers. Just in case you went, no, 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 I know the Avengers, it's not in them. No, do you know the Great Lakes Avengers? Neither. Um, all right. Well, I mean, look. Marvin, you want Snackle Cakes, and I don't see anywhere else to interact here, so I think it's just about time for us to leave. I'll come back if I find some. Ah, right, of course, I can find them from Hiram's where they have been still sold, despite the fact that the company that makes them has gone out of business very long ago. Gabby takes a piece of candy out of her purse and tosses it into her mouth and then holds the purse out to you. What? Well, um, um, sure. Thanks. Uh-huh. Is your purse just entirely filled with saltwater taffy? Wow, that is fibro! You got an item. Spearmint taffy. I guess I did hear somewhere that goblins process sugar really effectively and don't need as many, uh, as many vitamins as humans. Ha ha! Jealous? A little bit, yeah. Wouldn't you be? Harum's milk denifers, beer, suet, and fruit cocktails. Let's talk to the hobo first, though, because I know of the hobo hobo code code, and I know that if I give you one good turn, one will return to me. Hi there. Uh, hi, I'm Ryan. Uh, Samuel? Uh -huh. I I'm looking for Heron's Grocery, is that it? Uh, what? What a base number. Uh, when? Have you been standing here this whole time? Uh. I mean, I'll give you the quick estimation of what I think they're saying. Right. Uh, hi! Hey, hello there. I'm Ryan. My name's Samuel. Pleased to meet you. Samuel? Yes. Hiram's Grocery, is this it? It was, went out of business, when, mm, a couple months ago. Have you been standing this whole time? Yes, I have. What are you doing here, buddy? Mm. Just waiting for me. Uh, waiting for what? It's a rubbish number. Uh, you're looking for work? Yeah, it's just for a rubbish number. I don't think you're gonna find any work around here. Hmm. It doesn't look like to me another store is gonna open anytime soon around here. Hmm. Give him some meat, absolutely. Yeah, maybe you can take a cab to a different store or something? He tips his hat to you and whistles for passing cab. Good luck on your travels, friend! Uh, leaving this run-of-the-mill run-down store where you run afoul of runagates gives you a run-around and also run-on sentences. E to run away, absolutely not. A filthy trash can. Dig through it. You know it, buddy! Your efforts are rewarded with 
One shoe. You got an item. Single shoe. The other one must have gotten lost in the shoe shine stand. Saves you the trouble of using both feet for walking. I'm going to check for a second one. There isn't a second one. All right. I'm pretty sure now I know it's just Hiram's here. So let's go on, pry those off with the crowbar. Our crowbar makes short work of the boards, and we enter. The shelf is littered with various pieces of trash. I dig through it. You find a mercifully un unopened tube of lip balm. The item of lip balm increases your sleaze armor by one until you use another potion. If you wrap a candle in tin foil, it's just weird trash. But if you then print the words lip balm on the foil, it's a must-have consumer product! Even mice would be disappointed with this shelf. An empty shelf. Unless... unless no, it's empty. Unless... No, it's definitely empty. But wait, there's more. Listen, it's empty, I promise. Ugh, fine. Oh, wait, what's this? Wait, what? I'm <laughs> just kidding, there's nothing. I'm going back to there, absolutely. An empty shelf, unless, unless, but wait, sci-fi? Damn, I thought it would have worked on the second time. The counter is dusty and long abandoned. Search it. The register is empty. Unless you know someone who accepts mouse droppings as currency, look behind the counter. You find an old invoice from a shipment from the Snackle Mills factory, which is marked as never having arrived. Ooh, I see. We're on our way to pick up a, a, a delivery of stealth boys that never arrived. I said, yeah, it's time to meet the night kid. You find an old invoice which is marked as never having arrived. The factory address is listed. And it gives us our location for Snackle Mills factory. The counter is dusty and thoroughly searched. Nothing but trash on this shelf. The only things left on this shelf is a pair of rusty tongs. Grab them! You grab the tongs, wishing you had a different pair of tongs to do it with. You got an item, barbecue tongs. Deals your mysticality plus two hot damage. Hell yeah, now we can actually do some hot damage. And I do have good mysticality, so we can also do good damage with that. I think that is full exploration of that area for us. Gabby, do you have anything to say about the area? Shoot the breeze. Nope. Absolutely not. Time for us to leave out of here and check the Snackle Mills for Marvin's sake. No! I don't have enough moxie for this! Some amateur wit has penned a mild bon mot on the wall of the bathroom stall. You smile, but you don't laugh! Make the bon mot bon mot Oh, I leave it. The bathroom is no place for humor anyway, unfortunately. We've turned up at the Snackle Mills. There are a bunch of stones all over the ground. The truck is laden with crates of Snackle Cakes. The worst snack food ever developed. Grab a case of Marvin. It, it's so easy. Immediately. You really takes the cakes. You got an item. A case of Snackle Cakes. That's as many as 40 cakes. <laughs> That's terrible. It's a case of Snackle Cakes. They're the chocolate kind, which you never liked. This must be the front door to the factory. Wait, is this the front of the factory or the back? Is this the front or the factory? Empty vegetable oil drums. It's a simileth. A spire of petrified flour. I'm gonna gather some as a psychogeologist. I get an item powerful grit. Even though it's just an inert power, a uh, powder rather, you're still pretty sure it's gonna bully you. This crate is full of baking soda. The top is there to keep vinegar from getting into it. Uh, I don't even have enough moxie to squirm! I don't even, I'm not even a squirmable dude! Gah. <sighs> Loading dog door is just slightly ajar, if only it was slightly more of a jar. Uh, wanna head somewhere else, I mean, I guess at the moment. Gold's weight part, let's go get ourselves some money, maybe a little bit of experience, maybe some more moxie. You stop dead in your tracks when you see three of those weird fishmen lurking in the mouth of an alley up ahead. They're peering around with their glistening, staring eyes and glurbling at one another quietly, until one of them notices you. It and its two companions start stalking towards you, making wet, growling sounds. Ah, jeez! What, what even are you guys? 
well, are you evil invaders? Or are you natives that were displaced by urban development seeking to reclaim what's rightfully yours? The fish confirmed briefly. Uh, evil? Okay, thanks, as long as we're on the same page. Soda in the hole? You can throw a dubious Cola Wars grenade. I don't want to fight around. I'm going to surrender again. I don't want to fight him. I've been told it's a good idea not to fight him, and I'm going to hold myself to that. Uh, you close your eyes, put your arms over your head, and wait a pummeling that never comes. Welcome to Goldthwaite Park. The park groundskeeper is inspecting a clipboard with a panicked paralysis of someone who has so much work to do that he can't get any of it done. Talk to him. Hi there, uh, is something wrong? Huh? Oh, sorry pal. I don't want to seem rude, but I don't have much time to chat. I'm busy stuck running this place by myself and there's about a million things to do. Oh, well, I could use a little extra pocket meat. How about I help out? That would be great, except the new city regulations disallow hiring. Hiring random part-timers. This is a municipal park, though, so only official government contractors are allowed to work here. Uh, there's a law against side quests? Why? Just to be a thorn in my side, as far as I can tell. It's not like any of these tasks are dangerous or anything. You've got that kind of cagey look on your face when you said that? Okay, well, two of them are dangerous, but that doesn't even come at but it half. But that isn't even half, rather. And I submitted a request for help weeks ago and I still have not heard anything back. Well, you're in luck. I just happen to be an official government contractor. That would be terrific, but I am going to need to see some proof of that. Um... I'm gonna trick him. You wave your hand in front of the groundskeeper's face. You believe that I am an official government contractor. Well, now you do have an official government contractor wave down, Pat. That's good enough for me. You gain five experience. Great! What do you need me to do? Well, that depends what kind of contractor are you. I'm, um... A landscaper, an exterminator, a plumber, a security guard, a statue polisher. All late for an official meeting, I'll come back afterwards. I think I am a statue polisher. I am a psychogeologist I know about the hopes and dreams of rocks, gems, and ores. I'm a statue polisher, I guess? Oh, thank God I was... <laughs> I keep trying to read a word ahead for this guy and it keeps screwing me up. Oh, thank God I wasn't looking forward to doing that job. I think the birds must be eating leftovers from that old snackle cake factory. It's horrible. Here's a rag. Uh, you get an item, the statue wiping rag. The groundskeeper unlocks the maintenance shed behind him. It's one of Joplin's less popular works. <laughs> ah, I love it. Uh, can't, can't promise you'll find anything in there, but feel free to borrow anything that strikes your fancy. Great. Ooh, requires stench armor to wipe all these down. Just a little bit of stench armor to wipe them down as well. Hell yeah, we can definitely do that. Let's go into the maintenance department and see if there's anything there that'll help us out. Goldthwait Park Maintenance Shud. Park maintenance logs. You wouldn't be in... They wouldn't be interesting, even if you weren't just pretending to work here. It's a shelf full of various herbicides and weed-killing chemicals. A shelf laden with miscellaneous junk. I check it out and I get junk mail and a battery. Junk mail. Junk mail is a new technology that allows trash to be distributed so everyone can all share the effort of throwing it away. Battery. A combat item. Portable battery technology is in its infancy, but the fact that something is an infant has never stopped it from being carried into dangerous situations before. Gain one AP. A plate of homemade cookies. Uh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We get a homemade cookie. This has more charm than those newfangled factory-made ones. Gives us physical armor, and it's a locker, but it's not locked. Oh, a pair of spare overalls. You can tell they're spare because they say spare on the name tag. 
you get an item, maintenance overalls. Plus three to maximum HP, they're durable and comfortable, but they wouldn't be appropriate for a fancy gala. Luckily, you're not, um, <laughs> luckily, you're unlucky to, yeah. <laughs> luckily, you're unlikely to be invited to any fancy galas. Good lord. We got traveling letters today, folks. Traveling letters. Goldswank Park. To the left, we find the Botanical Garden. To the right, the Statue Plaza. Up ahead, the Fountain Plaza. Leodope... Leodop Territorium. And the Science Center. The soil in here seems especially sandy. Oh no, wait. That's just a pair of sandals someone dropped in the planter. I'm gonna grab them. You're coming with me, shoes. You got an item. Sandals. Makes life a beach. This footwear is made out of highly compacted sand. You like taking long walks on them. I am going to immediately assess the states of my feet. When you feet down, improves the sound. Im what? Birkenglocks. These are sandals with birch wood and little glockenspiels where the soles would be. Uh, improves the sound of your footsteps. Let's go. It's pretty cool. What about... Life's a beach. Okay, right, we're tracking the beach behind us. I like it, I like it, I like it, I like it. What about a single shoe? Perfect. I mean, I need a single glove to wear as well. Surely. To balance this entire thing out. A sign about the pointy rocks. I'm gonna read it. Presented to Goldthwait Park. November 13th, 1922. Boom, boom, boom. That's a date we're going to need to look up. By Margaret. And then we see a, a, a text that I am not yet familiar with. Ocean City Controller. A few of my favorite pointy rocks. Huh. Looks like part of the sign has been graffitied. A door to the Botanical Garden is locked, probably because they don't want any of the plants to escape. All right, let's get ourselves some armor. I am looking to take less damage to stench. Now, maintenance overalls, plus three max HP, give me the bench. Okay, so I can do this exclusively with a buff right now. So look at my character sheet. We can have a look at the current effects on us. I have plus one mysticality extra canny giving me the plus one mysticality there that's giving me access to five mysticality at the moment i wonder if maybe i don't want to immediately just pop my stench armor here hmm okay let's have a look through some of our foodstuffs because it's sleaze armor the delicious oyster is going to help us with as well so it's definitely a potion Right, stench armor from the cheap cologne. Yes, there it is. Cheap cologne increases your stench armor by one until you use another potion. And that's not even gonna be enough. Hang on. Hot armor. I just wonder if I'm not gonna have the ability to get enough resources. Because in, in the tutorial, there were a limited amount of resources and there was clearly more that I could do there. And now I'm in the mindset of like, oh, must I hold on to every single one of these usables until exactly the right time? But of course, I recognize being an adult human that that is absolutely not going to ultimately work out for me. Uh, fine. Let's use the cheap cologne. I increase my stench armor. There we go. Now you can get a good look at it. It's a statue of Corinthia Beshenbozzle. Read the inscription. Corinthia Beshenbozzle, mayor of Ocean City, 1805 to 1823, is credited with putting Ocean City on the map by suggesting, maybe we should build a dock or something so like boats could park here. It's an ordure splattered statue. I wipe it clean. There you go, now you can get a good look at it. It's a statue of a Cold War soldier. War doesn't always change. May the forces of red continue to dominate and refresh forevermore. Dedicated in 1919 by the National Cholera Association. It's a filth-coated statue. I wipe it clean and there we go. It's a granite sculpture of an animal skeleton. Of course it is. 
This statue, hand-chiseled from photo reference and enchanted driveway mice, was gifted to Ocean City in 1902 by Hobart Buppet. It's a muck spattered statue this time, but it's definitely a Cola War soldier. The soldier of a new generation. Here's to all the brave boys in blue who took the ultimate challenge. Dedicated in 1919 by the Ocean City VCW. It's a muck covered statue. It's a statue of Daniel Ocean this time. Daniel Ocean founded Ocean City in 1770 and on his deathbed in 1804, requested that visitors to this monument only view the statue from the left, which he felt was his better side. I mean, I'm fulfilling that. What if I... No, wow, okay, doesn't get mad for flipping the script on him. Hey bud, I did it. I got those nasty statues cleaned. Thank you for the amazing opportunity. No need to thank me. I was happy to provide an employment to a working stiff. Here's your official city payment. You gain 75 meat and five experience. Anything else you need done? Depends what kind of contractor I am. I am a landscaper. Perfect. Our carnivorous plant exhibition in the botanical gardens has gotten out of control. Uh, when you say out of control, as in, it's less of a job for pruning shears and more of a baseball bat with nails in. All right, I'll get right on that. Feed me! Does it have to be mine? Feed me! Feed me, Simo. Feed me all night long. That's right, boy. You can do it. Feed me, Simo. Feed me all night long. Yeah, uh, 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 uh. it's gonna make a reference to that before the end of this, right? It's absolutely gonna do a little shelf of horrors. I can see them, they're there, the Audrey's. Three through five. Plain sword, that's always the moxie test. There's a really sharp stalk of it. You could probably take it with you if you're careful. Northern palm tree, do not punch. Hey, don't tell me what to do. That point well made, maybe I shouldn't have punched it. Ouch. Northern palm tree, do not punch. Tea, drink plants while looking at plants. A nervous looking teen mends the tea counter. Buy some tea. Hearty wheat tea increases your muscle. Ah, muscle, moxie, and uh, we've got potions for each of these, excellente. It's a control system for the botanical garden's extremely complicated watering system. Northern beer barrel cactus. No, beer removed due to prohibition. It's absolutely no fun allowed here, apparently. Well, wow, those plants do not look like they belong here. I'm gonna fight them. <laughs> Love this. All right, I wanna throw a dubious grenade as well. See if I can get a little bit of a, a little bit more information about what it does. Shake and throw. All right, it's... <laughs> oh boy. That's gonna cause a couple of problems for us, I have to imagine. I am going to murder this invasive plant, the first one. Thin down the field a little bit. They're giving some negative stats, that's okay. Uh, two physical damage would be not enough to actually change this significantly. I guess it might set up for the kill next round. Gideon runs away. So three physical damage and then six. So yeah, it doesn't even help set off for the kill this round. Unfortunately. Uh, so I guess instead I will use my full nine damage to take out the undamaged invasive plant. And the rest of this kind of just comes for free. You've successfully weeded the botanical garden. You get 70 XP and Gideon the Finch grows stronger with plus one maximum HP. I consider that to be excellent. The Joshua Tree, named for its discoverer, David E. Tree. Wetlands Nasty Bramble, donated by a patron with no regard for the safety of the staff. Eyegrass, avoid prolonged eye contact. Highland Bone Bush, 
You're beginning to believe this specimen was donated as a joke? But not complete in that assessment yet. Okay, okay, I've, I've, I've harmed the plants appropriately. I've dealt with your botanical uprising. Well, good. Here's your official city payment. You get 75 meat and vine experience. Thanks. Anything else you need done? I am an exterminator, actually. Oh, great. We've got some real trouble in our le <laughs> Lepidop Territorium. Your butterfly zoo? A bunch of horrible monsters have gotten in and I'm afraid they're going to hurt the butterflies. Some of them are rare and expensive. Um, could you describe these monsters? Nope, I very deliberately did not get a closer look at them. That sounds awful, but uh, all right. Ooh, there's gonna be an incredible hobo orchestra. By the end of this game, I can only guess. Hey, yo, buddy, can you spare a little meat for a man down on his luck? Sure, 50. You lose 50 meat. He's your drops. Holy cow, buddy, thank you. That's just, that's just surpassing kindness, what that is. Mom always said I've got a heart made of meat. Well, I can't let this generosity go unrepaid. One custom oboe motif coming up. Oh, what? Oboe? Oh, boy! Mm. He fires his brow in concentration for a moment and raises the oboe to his lips. He beams! Wow, that's terrific. Thanks. Leave him to his oboe. There's a little sign, not pictured, that says, Please don't throw meat in the fountain. It gets real gross. It says no fishing. Since there's no water in the fountain, you've assumed it means no fishing for compliments. Good advice. I do, what? I actually think that advice is bad because I'm following the law. This maintenance hatch is locked for the moment. The le- <laughs> It's a butterfly zoo. <laughs> you found it? The world's least remarkable rock. I'm gonna reassure it, as a trained psychogeologist. You teach the rock to love itself for who it is. In doing so, I gain five experience and... The end of the episode. It was weird, it was there in the loot screen, it just did not show up. For the moment, my name is Mirapsony, the name of the game. As being Shadows Overloading, hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist on the screen, top left, YouTube recommendation below. I, I started the outro too late. I'm just not going to have time to do the full.